Okay, now I'm going to show you a way to balance color in Photoshop. I'm going to still use the gray card deal, but you could do this with anything. Imagine if you took portraits of a friend outside and decided to tweak the color balance a little bit to make the flesh tones look nicer or make something look nicer. You can do that to one file and then you can apply that data to a whole bunch of files. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to do that. Okay, so once again what I've got here is a bunch of these shots that were done in this manufacturing facility with a gray card. I've sort of purposely tweaked the color a little bit to make sure that it's off. I'm going to go up here to Info. Here you can see the histogram of the shot. and You can see we've got a full wide range of pixels. That's good. I'm going to go to Info so that now when I put my um, here I'm going to go to my little hand. That's a nice thing to use. You can see if you look up there in the RGB data that we're you know not really that close to a neutral. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the Layers palette and I'm going to click on this little icon here which is Create a New Adjustment Layer. I'm going to click on it and it gives me all these choices. Now the one that I want to use right now is Levels. So when I click that, we create a new layer which controls this adjustment. Okay, and it's an adjustment layer. And it also gives us the option of having a mask, which I'll talk about another time. Now all I'm going to do right now is, once again, I want this gray card to be neutral. So I'm going to click on the gray eyedropper here, and then I'm going to click on the gray card. And you'll see what happens. It sets that to a neutral gray. And you can see that we're very close here. OK, then I'm going to click OK. So now we have an adjustment layer. Adjustment layers are wonderful because it's what we call non-destructive editing. I can turn this on or off. I can double click on that icon and it gives me this, uh, the dialog box um, that I can make any kind of changes I might want to make tomorrow or next week or a month down the road. Once I save this, file. Right now it's a JPEG, but when I save it as a Photoshop file, any layers that I have stay active and I can come back later and change them. But there's even something better that I can do. I'm going to make minimize this, make it smaller. I can take this um, layer, this adjustment layer, and I'm going to just simply hold down the Shift key and drag it into this image. And what it does is it brings it in here and you can see it makes the same correction. Once again, I can turn it on and off. I can double click on it and get the, my uh, dialog box for the levels. I can make any kind of changes I want. I can lighten it. I can lighten the mid-tones. I can darken the, the dark tones. And I can apply this to any of these other images. Hold down shift and drag from the layer palette. Boink and boink. Now I have all these images corrected the same way. So the nice thing is you can do that once and you can apply it to any other images and it's it's a pretty simple way to do it. Now when I go, if I was to go well, if I was to just do Command S for save, it's not going to let me save it as a JPEG. I'd have to save it as a copy. If I click on JPEG, it's going to say it has to be uh, saved as a copy, and it's because I have layers. So the easiest thing to do is to just save it as a Photoshop file, and then you'll have all this uh, data when you come up. Okay, so that's how that works.